Prince William surprised the establishment when he decided against following in his father's footsteps and chose to attend University of St. Andrews over the traditional Oxbridge route. But was the real reason behind this something Andrew Neal told him about the institution? Mr. Neal, who is the former Lord Rector at the University, told the documentary Prince William at 30 single quote he encouraged the young prince to go. In footage uploaded to YouTube in June 2012, he said William was unsure about the university because of the size of the swimming pool. However, the veteran journalist told him St. Andrews was full of beautiful and smart women and he is sure that's what clinched it. Given William met his future wife Kate Middleton at the university, perhaps this advice was very apartment Mr. Neal said. His main concern was the size of the swimming pool because he was into water polo at the time. I informed him that St. Andrews was full of beautiful and very bright young women and I'm sure that's what clinched it. Apparently after it was announced where William would be attending there was a flood of applications from American women wanting to study there. Royal commentator Katie Nichols said, most of those were wealthy Americans who were determined to come over, get a place at St. Andrews and bag their prince. However, none of those American women were successful in snagging William, as he met Kate in his halls of residence St. Salvators and quickly formed a friendship. Helen McArdle, who lived in the room next door to Kate in first year said the future Duke and Duchess of Cambridge formed a tight friendship group with William's friends from school. She said, Kate certainly became very good friends with William and his friends from Eton very quickly, they seemed to form a very tight group. In terms of their social life, they went to some of the more upmarket bars in St. Andrews. Mabel's was a popular drinking location for them, also known as Yabel's in St. Andrews. The press had made an agreement with the palace to leave William alone during his university years, meaning he was able to get close to Kate in peace. Miss McArdle shared several cheeky anecdotes of Kate and William's time during their university media blackout. She said, I remember seeing the two of them at the bar and him pinching her bottom and that was the first time I remember thinking, well they're definitely a couple then. I can remember Kate having to be carried back to her room by one of the Eaton boys because she couldn't walk and she was paralytically drunk, as we all were during that week. And I remember on another occasion William coming back, I think after celebrating the end of his exams, and falling into a bush outside Sally's and having to be retrieved by his bodyguards. The pair would finally marry at a beautiful ceremony in 2011, and have three children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis who are third, fourth and fifth in line to the throne respectively.